The Ottoman Empire's defeat in World War I was the culmination of various factors, both internal and external, which weakened the empire's ability to sustain itself against the Allied powers. Here are some of the key causes, reasons, and circumstances. 1. Military weakness. The Ottoman military was not as modernized or well-equipped as the armies of the major European powers. Despite efforts at modernization and reform, the Ottoman military was still largely reliant on outdated tactics and equipment. Additionally, the empire lacked sufficient industrial capacity to sustain a prolonged war effort. Number 2. Internal dissent and ethnic nationalism. The Ottoman Empire was a multi-ethnic, multi-religious state, and nationalist movements within its territories were gaining momentum. Ethnic groups such as the Arabs, Armenians, and Greeks harbored aspirations for independence or autonomy. This internal dissent weakened the empire's cohesion and strained its ability to effectively govern its diverse populations. 3. Alliance with the Central Powers The Ottoman Empire joined the war on the side of the Central Powers, Germany, Austria, Hungary, in 1914. This alliance proved costly as the Central Powers faced significant military setbacks on the Western Front, which diverted resources and attention away from the Ottoman theatre. Number 4. British and Allied Campaigns in the Middle East The British launched successful campaigns in the Middle East, aiming to secure strategic territories and protect their interests in the region, such as access to oil fields and trade routes to India. The British captured key Ottoman territories, including Mesopotamia, modern-day Iraq, Palestine and Syria. These defeats weakened the Ottoman Empire's position and disrupted its control over important regions. Number 5. Armenian Genocide and International Backlash The Ottoman government's systematic extermination of Armenian civilians during the war, known as the Armenian Genocide, led to condemnation from the international community. This further isolated the Ottoman Empire diplomatically and fueled resentment among Armenians, contributing to internal instability. 6. Economic Strain and Blockades The Ottoman Empire faced severe economic strain due to the costs of the war and disruptions to trade caused by Allied naval blockades. The empire struggled to provide for its population and sustain its war effort amidst shortages of food, fuel, and other essential resources. 7. Revolution in Russia The Russian Revolution of 1917 led to the collapse of the Russian Empire and the rise of Bolshevik rule. This event altered the balance of power in the region and provided opportunities for nationalist movements such as the Bolshevik support for Armenian and Kurdish aspirations for independence. These factors, combined with the overall weakening of the Ottoman Empire in the face of internal dissent and external pressures, ultimately led to its defeat and the subsequent dismantling of its territorial holdings by the victorious Allied powers. The Ottoman Empire's decision to join the Central Powers in World War I was influenced by a combination of strategic calculations political considerations, and historical alliances. Here's an elaboration on why the Ottomans aligned themselves with Germany and Austria-Hungary. Geostrategic considerations. The Ottoman Empire was strategically positioned between Europe and Asia, controlling crucial waterways such as the Dardanelles and the Bosporus, which connected the Mediterranean to the Black Sea. This gave the Ottomans significant influence over trade routes and naval access. By joining the Central Powers, the Ottomans hoped to secure their territorial integrity and safeguard their strategic interests against the Allied powers, particularly Britain and Russia, which posed threats to Ottoman territories in the Middle East and the Caucasus. 2. Historical Alliances The Ottomans had historical ties with Germany and Austria-Hungary. These relationships were based on shared interests, including opposition to Russian expansionism in the Balkans and the Black Sea region. Germany, in particular, had provided military and economic assistance to the Ottoman Empire during its modernization efforts in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. These ties created a foundation for the Ottoman-German alliance. 3. Military assistance and modernization Germany offered military assistance and promised to support the Ottoman Empire's modernization efforts. German military advisors were sent to help train and modernize the Ottoman army, and Germany provided financial aid and weapons to bolster Ottoman military capabilities. 
This support was crucial for the Ottomans, who sought to strengthen their military to defend against external threats and maintain internal stability. 4. Economic Interests The Ottoman Empire hoped to gain economic benefits from its alliance with the Central Powers. Germany and Austria-Hungary promised trade agreements and investment opportunities that would help alleviate the Ottoman Empire's economic challenges. Additionally, the Ottomans saw potential gains in terms of access to technology, industrial expertise and infrastructure development through their partnership with the industrialized powers of Germany and Austria-Hungary. Number 5. Pan-Islamic Sentiment The Ottoman Empire's rulers, particularly Sultan Mehmed th and later Sultan Mehmed VI, sought to leverage pan-Islamic sentiment to rally support for the war effort among Muslim populations in other parts of the world. They portrayed the conflict as a jihad, holy war, against the Allied powers, appealing to Muslim solidarity and seeking to mobilize support from Muslims in British-controlled India, North Africa, and elsewhere. In summary, the Ottoman Empire joined the Central Powers in World War I due to a combination of strategic, historical, economic, and ideological factors. The alliance with Germany and Austria-Hungary was seen as a means to protect Ottoman interests, modernize the military, and secure support for the empire's territorial integrity and independence.